The latest Altron FinTech Household Resilience Index reveals that high interest rates are significantly impacting South African households, driving debt costs to a 15-year peak and removing approximately 43 billion rand from the economy. Economist Dr. Rudolf Boatem, who compiles the index, highlights that the South African Reserve Bank's strict monetary policy has severe economic repercussions. In addition, he notes a concerning 3.3% year-on-year drop in the ratio of household income to debt cost. Dr. Rudolf Boerta elaborates further. The latest Eltron Fintech Household Resilience Index has just been published. Uh, the good news is that it has picked up slightly from the first quarter. It was quite predictable uh, to some extent because the first quarter uh, is not a good quarter for households uh, on average because they've spent all their Christmas uh, bonuses uh, and now they have to start working again after the summer holidays. Um, the bad news is that it hasn't recovered by uh, a lot. It is still way below pre-COVID. It is also below the new record for the Ultron uh, Fintech Index, which was recorded sort of mid-2021. And then came the interest rates. And then when things went south horribly, except for the debt cost income ratio of households, that went from 6.7% to 9.1% currently. Um, I did a quick calculation that if the household debt cost, household disposal income ratio had stayed where it was until now, it would have released an additional more than 170 billion rand into the economy. The cost of restrictive monetary policy and the highest interest rates in 14 years uh, have been enormous. Uh, it has contributed to lower growth, it has contributed to higher unemployment um, in South Africa. Uh, and it is such a pity that the Monetary Policy Committee hasn't also kept its eye on the need to create jobs in South Africa. To take the, to have taken the prime overdraft rate to 11.75%, minus inflation of 4.4 currently, that gives you a real prime rate of 7.1%, is absolutely ludicrous. It is 130% higher than the average real prime rate that existed when Jill Marcus was governor. It is really time that the Monetary Policy Committee starts looking at the plight of indebted South Africans and low interest rates at a much faster pace. The strong rand, the low inflation, uh, has already resulted in a small decline. I am personally expecting a 50 basis point decline in November, but we need more than that.